it's Abby, and today I have a new set from Finding Unicorn. They have kindly sent it to me to unbox and review. This is the new Ami set, and it is spelled Amy with two A's, but the katakana is Ami. So I'm gonna pronounce it that way because it's a Japanese artist, and I feel like that's the most accurate. But you can call it whatever you want. Anyway, we're gonna dive right in and see how adorable these figures are. I got the box all set up. It looks so cute as a display. I haven't seen Finding Unicorn in physical shops here. Not that I really go to many lately, but I know that the artist sells these in Japan. I think maybe some on her site, but also when she has like art exhibits or pop-ups. I really hope to see more Finding Unicorn stuff here in Japan. Let me know if you've seen it in your country. I know I asked when I was in Singapore, but I feel like I only saw Melinta maybe? I don't know, let's start opening. I haven't lined them up like this in a while. We have all 12 boxes here, and I thought I'd show you guys the ones I have from previous sets. Here are the first two Ami figures I got. This was actually the first time Finding Unicorn sent me a package, and it was these two cuties. They actually had just released, I believe. I found out that this series, the Ami Melt With You set, is being discontinued. I looked on the Finding Unicorn website, and Kika Goods too, and My Plastic Heart, or maybe it was Strange Cat Toys, I don't know. But I checked on the blind box sites that I know, and they're all sold out. So if you want this set and happen to see them somewhere, I would snatch them up. I saw the official artist, Ami, tweeting that they were not going to be making more. This was my introduction to Finding Unicorn. I'd opened some Shin Wu blind boxes in the past from Kika Goods, I believe, but I didn't know anything about Finding Unicorn, but they reached out to me, sent me some Ami boxes, and it was the start of a beautiful relationship. <laughs> Since then, I've opened a few other Ami boxes. This one is my absolute favorite. This one's also from the Melt With You series, and this one too. All my colors, and they're in that very pretty shiny porcelain style. I love it. I have two from the first set that came out, Magician, I can't remember the official title, but it's a kind of witchy vibe, and I have Medusa and this one with the little door with an eye. Aren't they cute? There's some really pretty purple figures in this set, so I might try to check them out. I know they're going to get in the way, but I'm going to put them up here so you guys can look at them. So adorable. I have fallen in love with this art style. I guess we'll take this box and put Medusa up here. Okay, we'll do this. We'll scooch you in, put you up here. They look so good as a set. I can't wait to display all my figures by like series and set and IP. Someday I'll have enough room. Anyway, enough about past sets. Let's check out Picnic with Butterfly. I've seen pictures of this set floating around my timeline, and I've looked at it on Finding Unicorn, but I haven't taken a close look at each figure. I know that the strawberry juice one's super popular, so I'm excited to check them out. Also, my nails kind of unintentionally match. I'm very excited to be the proud owner of a full Ami set. As always, very cute packaging. First one. Oh my goodness. Alice in Wonderland vibes. Look at the little flower. Oh my goodness. The leaves are pretty too with the gradient. It's in a teapot and it comes with a little teacup. This one's called a Sakura Tea. It's a little cherry blossom. How adorable. I love it. Oh, a little side note, if you scratch this off, there's a code, and I think if you scan this QR code, it takes you to Funny Unicorn's WeChat. I don't use WeChat, but my friend Sylvia looked into it, and apparently you can register all your figures, so you can see all the ones you own. I think it's a great way to keep track of your collection. I haven't done it yet, I want to look into it. I'm worried there's going to be a language barrier, but I'll check it out and let you guys know. We'll take this one down and put you up here. I forgot about the little teacup. Here we go. Box number two. This one's a little bit heavy. Wonder which one it could be. I'm gonna assume Sweet Dream and Flower Basket's gonna be heavy. Fruit Toast could be heavy too, or Miss Butterfly. Oh, I love the colors on this. Very spring-like. 
destroyed the box a little bit. Wait, is that what was making it heavy? I think it was heavy anyway. Look at that, it is chunky. Is chunky one of those words that shouldn't be said like moist? I saw a meme or maybe it was like a repost of a tweet somewhere that said millennials ruined the word moist. And we kind of did. Oh, a new kind of forbidden snack. Little rose. Oh, I think this one's Miss Butterfly. What do we think? Look at those wings. Oh, the wings have a gradient? No, they have a pearl sheen. Look at that. It's pearlescent. Oh my goodness. And look at the long hair. I would say my nails go very nicely. <laughs> Here is Miss Butterfly. The art's a little bit more vibrant. Oh, one side's pink and one side's purple. And it actually is. I didn't notice that. That's so cool. They're different colors. Love it. Let me get the little flower out. Oh my goodness. Look at that. The hat kind of gives Link vibes, don't you think? Very cute. Oh boy, who's getting replaced here? I feel like we have to go from the middle. I'm sorry. There we go. I'm gonna take one from the end here. You can't see it, but that way we won't disrupt any of the figures. Box number three. I'm so excited to see all of these. Not doing too good on the box opening today. Here we go. Oh, I think I know which one this is. Oh, a lot of new forbidden snacks. This one's just a little bite. Little bunny. Oh, is it a bunny? Actually, is it a squirrel? Da -da. This is the one I've been seeing all over social media. Her face is the cup. But look at that straw. It is very pretty. It's such a unique design. This one's called Strawberry Juice. I don't know, what animal do you think that is, guys? This is an adorable design. Oh, just perches. So you'll want to be careful with it. The color's so pretty. It's almost a magenta, I would say. Cute. I think you're getting replaced because you're closest to me. Let's grab from the other end. Box number four. I'm glad this one the cards aren't stuck to the bag because that was a little bit difficult for me. Another kind of roundish one. Oh, it's the basket one. Oh my goodness, I love this design. The basket almost looks like bread. I love how it's shaded and textured. This is so cute. Look at her holding her fork. I don't know if I can show you well, but she has like a little blanket or skirt. I think it's just like a picnic blanket, maybe. I see some flowers on it. That little face. And this one's matte. It's that glossy, almost like silicone, the super smooth one. I think this is the first non-glossy Ami figure that I have. This one is flower basket. Oh, so they're flowers. You can see it on the art there. It's not food, but she is holding a fork. Look at her hat and look at the art. I think it's supposed to be an orange. This might be one of my favorites so far. Okay, Medusa. You are getting replaced. Oh, this picnic set is so good. I love it. We're gonna have to start scooching a little bit. Please don't fall. Is this one number five? I think so. I'm excited to see Fruit Toast. Performer, spring in the air. Sweet Dream, I think, is gonna be adorable. What if we got another secret? Oh my goodness, you guys have to watch um, my last Zoton video because I may or may not have gotten the secret one. That's a fun IP from Finding Unicorn as well. 
Finding Unicorn honestly has the cutest stuff. I like the soft vibe. Little book. And... Ooh, look at that bonnet. And the bunny ears. I guess they're pigtails. Oh my goodness, the wings, they're matte. Look at that. They're, I mean, they're smooth, but they're, I guess they're matte. That's really cool. Look at the bottom of her feet. She is like a little bunny. I love the colors on these. They give such an Eastery vibe. This is leisure time. Such a cutie. She has little bows on her hair and her tights. And a huge bonnet. I might leave the book in the bag right now because I don't want to lose it, but we'll put her up over there. We're gonna start running out of room. There you go, cutie. Oh, look at, she's the same pose. We're gonna remove you. Number six, this is gonna be the halfway point. Oof, this is jam-packed full. This is a big one. Oh, is this the one I'm looking forward to? Another forbidden snack. Forbidden Cheeto. Forbidden cheese puff, I guess. Not really a Cheeto, huh? Or Cheeto puff. Look at that color. Oh, it is. Look at it. She is darling. It's like a little pancake sandwich with like blueberries, maybe? Taking a little nap. A fluffy pancake. Who wouldn't want to do that? The wing designs are so pretty in this set. Look at the strawberry and the heart. And the color combos are all so perfect. And the shading on the pancake. What was the name of this one? Does anyone remember? Sweet Dream. I love it. Okay, six open. Six to go. Do we have a favorite so far? Um, I think this one's my favorite. I really liked the art when I saw it. The cup one, I see why everyone likes it, but I think I do like the little, like, actual people better. Sakura is really cute. Okay, you might have to sit down, but you're here for now. Number seven, we are entering the second half. Still a lot more to go. Oh, Bubble Dream's gonna be cute. Butterfly Elf. Performer. Let's see if I can open any of these right. Oh, that wasn't bad. Who is it gonna be? Oh, upside down. Little basket. Oh my goodness. What a cutie, the big straw hat. I always love how Finding Unicorn does bows. I don't know why, but they're always so perfect, like Shinwu, Amy, Zoton? I can't remember if I noticed the bows on Zoton, but anyway. This figure gives me Lirie from Pokemon vibes. I think it's the hair in the dress maybe, or I think it's the hat, the hair in the hat. Can she hold her basket? It looks like it, hold on. I had to pry her arms apart, but she holds the basket. Isn't it cute? It wobbles a little bit. We turn her around. Sorry for the shadow, but you can see her wings, super glossy. I think they're a little glittery too. And then the cute bow on the back of her dress. Adorable, I love this one. I think I'm just gonna have you stand here. Box number eight, let's go. If you could have any full set you wanted from Finding Unicorn, which one would you choose? At the moment, I have my eyes on the newest repuller set. I've only opened like one or maybe two random repullers and the newest set is so cute. Okay. Oh, I see some pretty colors. Are those birds? Oh my goodness. I love the colors on this. Look at the little birds. Camera, please. Look at her. 
the blue hair, the purple dress, well, the white dress with purple polka dots, her green wings, and then the little pastel birdies. The color combinations, so perfect. They make me happy. Also, it might be a little washed out on camera, but it's really, really pretty. It's actually, hmm, I guess one of the more vibrant figures, well, hair-wise, maybe. This one's Performer. You sit over here. Don't they look good all together? This one's heavy. We're just gonna keep on going. No reason to stop. Nope. Random card. Mega Chunky. I don't remember which ones were left. Oh, I know. It's the one where she's sitting in the hat. Look at that. I think it's the outfit, but it gives me um, May vibes from Totoro. Or am I thinking Satsuki? Who wears the yellow shirt? But the little pink jumper is very May. So I don't know. And the hair is kind of May too, isn't it? She has a little flower for a hat. What kind of animal do we think that is? And then look at the bow. It's perfection. Look at there's flowers on the brim. I guess they all have wings. Are they all like little fairies? And the pink bow. This color combo is so good too. This whole set just screams my color palette. It's called Spring in the Air. I think this one is in my top three. I just really like the design. Running out of room. I guess we'll put her here for now. It's off balance. We need to put another one over there. I'm sad we only have three more boxes open. This set was really fun. I say was. We still have three more to go. Well, this one's a bit tinier. Ooh, I see pretty purple colors. Oh, she has forbidden snack. <laughs> Am I allowed to say each one is my favorite as I open it? Her dress is so pretty and look at the bubble. It's actually hollow inside. I love her hair, it's a gradient. It's a little bit of dust on there, let's get that off. Purple pearlescent wings, a little flower crown. Then a little bunny friend. Oh, bunny friend's adorable. Am I in focus? There I am. What do we think? Oh, and this one's barefoot. Is this the first barefoot one? She is darling. Her name is Bubble Dream. Oh, look at the little bunny looking up at the bubble. That is very, very cute. The picture has her facing this way, kind of, but I think I like her like this. We'll put the bunny here, maybe. The cuteness does not end. Let's just pull these two down. Six, almost seven months ago, I had no clue who Ami was. I was just learning about her, just learning about finding a unicorn, and now I'm a mega fan. Last two. Remember Zoton. We could still be getting a secret one. I definitely want fruit toast though. Oh? Um, new favorite just dropped. Actually though, look at these colors. Oh, and these wings. They're so pretty. I love how it goes from like cloudy to translucent. I guess it's all translucent, but like clear. Look at her lilac tights. Oh my goodness, I think this one is my favorite. Cute little dress with polka dots on the bottom. Don't you guys love being able to see the figures in like a video? Because the pictures just do not do them justice. And I'm sure the video doesn't either. You need to see them in person. Look at the little flowers on her buns. I keep seeing like a new detail every time I turn her around. Her ears are adorable too. Do they all have ears? I guess she does because her hair's up maybe. Butterfly elf. This one is definitely my favorite. Like number one favorite. Sorry, but she gets to sit in the middle. It's okay. Your other people's favorite. I can't get over this set. They all look so perfect together. Last box. It should be fruit toast. 
should be. But will it? There's a big forbidden snack. Here's the toast. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So adorable. Look at the polka dotted wings. I think all the different wing designs are the highlight of this set for me. I guess her previous sets had different wings too, but just like seeing them all at once like this, you get to see and notice the differences. The detail on this. Look at these grapes. They're matte, but they're translucent and they look like little gemstones. That's very, very pretty. So kiwi and grape, what do you all put on your toast? I'm a huge fan of cinnamon sugar. This one's cute, I love the design, but I think the, the one thing holding me back from saying it's like a favorite is that it's very green, but that's personal preference, so that doesn't really mean anything. The design is absolutely adorable. Here they all are, I got them all to fit in frame. What do we think? I think it's a very nice set. It's a really nice pastel, but it has pops of color, and the whole picnic theme is just perfect, and I'm really happy that I was able to unbox this as a whole set. If any of you want to check out this set, I'll leave the link to Finding Unicorn down below. You can use code Lorian for 15% off. If you buy a few random blind boxes, I would love to see what you get. Come join my Discord. We're always posting pictures of the new blind boxes we open and sharing pictures of our collections. It's a lot of fun and I hope to see you there. And I have to say thank you to Finding Unicorn again. Thank you for sending me such an adorable set. I love it so much. I can't wait to see what new figures will be coming out this year. That is all for today and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!